Welcome to lesson six of the Porn Conversation Curriculum and Activity Guide. Today you're going to learn about consent and respectful relationships. Interpersonal relationships are all relationships. And like a spider's web, all the relationships you have at home, in school, and anywhere else are all connected. Relationships aren't just for romantic and sexual partners. They're also for friends, family members, teammates, fellow students, or members of the community. Everyone has the right to be in relationships that respect their personal boundaries. Consent is essential. Yeah. All people have the right to decide for themselves whether they want to be in a relationship or not with anyone. Consent is important because it helps you and others feel safe and respected and comfortable. Consent is necessary with every person in your life, no matter if it's your best friend, a stranger, or an adult you know. Consent happens by asking for another person's permission to do something and honoring their response. People are all very different. We don't all like the same things, especially when it comes to our bodies. Not everyone enjoys being touched, especially without permission. Some people love hugging and holding hands and others don't. Always, always, always ask for consent before you touch somebody. How do you know if someone has given you permission to do something? Ask for it. What does it mean to give consent? It means you agree, you give permission or allow something. When do you need to ask for consent? More often than not, but especially before giving hugs, holding hands, kissing, sharing secrets, borrowing things, etc. What does consent sound like? Well, it sounds like, yes, I would like that. Of course. Or yes, thank you for asking. Or okay, sure. What do you say when you don't want to give consent? It could sound like, no, thank you. Maybe another time, or mm, I don't feel comfortable with that, or I would not like that, or no way. What if you really want to kiss your crush? How would you ask for consent? Can I kiss you? Awesome, Gavin. What if they said no? I respect your decision. What if you're in the middle of hugging someone and they changed their mind and wanted to stop? I'd stop. What if they were okay with you hugging them yesterday, but aren't today? I'd be fine with it and be like, okay. What if someone says no, but they're smiling? I would feel like... I wouldn't just be like, hey, can I have a hug? No. no. What would you do if someone sent you nudes? Would you screenshot them and share them with others? <gasps> no. Of course not, man. <laughs> Respect my boundaries. You are not respecting my boundaries. Respecting the choices someone makes about their own body is important in any kind of relationship. Every person has the right to decide what happens to their own body. Bodily autonomy is knowing that your body belongs to you and you only. No one else gets to decide what happens to your body. Not your friends, not strangers, and not even the adults that you know. You are in control of your feelings and have the right to say no to someone else touching you. Personal boundaries are about understanding and respecting your own needs. Some boundaries are obvious, like don't eat your classmates lunch without asking, or don't hit the person sitting next to you in class. Hey! But it's also important to get to know your own boundaries and respect other people's boundaries too. Something that might seem okay to you might make someone else feel uncomfortable. And in order to avoid disrespecting their boundary, just play it safe and ask for their consent first. Have you ever really thought about the difference between a friendship, a romantic relationship, and a sexual relationship? <laughs> Friendships are relationships with people who are not family. They're with people who we choose to interact with. Generally, friendships are with people who have similar interests. You may feel closer to some friends than to others. Respectful friendships are when we show mutual respect 
honesty, loyalty, and support to one another. Friendships are not defined by physically intimate or sexual contact. Romantic relationships happen when there's a strong mutual attraction. Romantic relationships often happen with someone who has similar interests and values. And romantic relationships may or may not include physically intimate or sexual contact. Sexual relationships are another story. We are physically intimate and have sexual contact in sexual relationships. They may or may not be with someone we share a romantic relationship with. Sexual consent is a really important part of sexual relationships and must be carefully practiced throughout the entire relationship. It's important to analyze how you feel in your relationships and ask yourself, whether or not it feels satisfying and mutually respectful. Knowing the difference between a respectful and disrespectful relationship can help you decide whether or not you should stay in a relationship. In a respectful relationship, you feel respect, equality, trust, positive communication, honesty, support, and physical and emotional safety. A disrespectful relationship feels like the opposite of that. You may find yourself dealing with things like power and control, physical, emotional, or sexual abuse, digital abuse, unpredictable behaviors, humiliation, and fear. Even respectful relationships aren't always perfect, and it's common to have disagreements. The difference is, in a respectful relationship, you use positive communication to work through them. For instance, there's no name calling um, and you ask questions to understand your partner's perspective. In any kind of relationship, it's important to treat one another with care and respect. A respectful relationship makes you feel good about yourself. It makes you feel confident, respected, and accepted for who you are. A disrespectful relationship, whether it's online or offline, makes you feel self-conscious, confused, or anxious and sometimes not safe. Leaving a disrespectful relationship can feel like a scary experience, but talking with a trusted adult can help you get through it. Consent is an important practice in any relationship, but it's especially important in sexual relationships. Before getting sexual with someone, you need to know if they're into it too. It's important to be clear about what sexual behaviors everyone wants and doesn't want to do. Consent is the permission for something to happen. It's the absolute most important thing to know and to put into practice when it comes to your relationships. Sexual consent is the same as consent, but in regards to sexual activity. Before being sexual with someone, you need to know if they wanna be sexual with you too. It's also important to be honest with your partner about what you want and don't want. The laws about sexual consent may be different depending on your location. The age of consent refers to the age a person must be in order to legally consent to sex. If a legal adult has sex with someone who is younger than the legal age of consent, that adult can go to jail and may have to register as a sex offender. Also, people who are under the influence of drugs or alcohol cannot consent to sexual behavior. When you think about sexual consent, think of fries. Mm, I fries. love fries. The F stands for freely given. It's a choice you make without pressure or, co or coercion. Coercion. You're allowed to change your mind about what you feel like doing at any time even if you were cool with it to start out with. I is for inform. You can only consent to something if you have the full story. There are no surprises. E is for enthusiastic. Yay! When it comes to sex, you should only do what you want to do, not things that you feel like you're expected to do. Why doesn't that make sense? Enthusiastic consent is a term people use meaning it's more than just saying, okay. It's like, yes, I want to do this. And the S stands for specific. Saying yes to one thing, like kissing, doesn't mean you're okay with doing anything else, like having sex. Sexual consent is ongoing. 
It isn't just something that happens before sex or at the start of a relationship. It's an ongoing conversation. If things are moving forward and you want to start exploring different sexual behaviors, stop and ask first. Don't assume. It's important that everyone asks for and gives consent throughout the entire sexual relationship. Sexual consent isn't sexual consent unless everyone says yes, and it goes beyond words. Body language is also an important part of sexual consent. If someone says yes, but looks unsure or uncomfortable, ask questions. You could say something like, would that be okay with you? Or are you comfortable with that? If someone is saying yes, but their body isn't, what do you do? Do you trust the person's yes or pay more attention to their body language? What do you think, Gavin? I think actions speak louder than words. I like how you think. Yeah. The most important thing to remember is to always ask for consent when you're engaging in any type of touch, yeah, bro. sexual or not. Mm -hmm. Ask permission and respect the answer you're given. <laughs> and make sure to keep checking in with your partner the whole time you're together. Sexual agency is the choice to assert your sexual interests without coercion. That means all the choices you make about your sex life come from you. You. Yep. Not from feeling pressured, not from feeling forced, and not from being manipulated into it. Sexual agency means you have the right to give and receive consent, choose whether or not you want to sexually engage with someone, choose how you define your sexuality, and choose your safer sex practices. Now let's go over the media impact activity in your curriculum and activity guide. Yeah. We're gonna do this one together. We're gonna do, do it with you. you. Ah. That took me a really long time to actually get the note out. Consider the impact of media, including sexually explicit media and free online porn. What does sexualized media and free online porn perpetuate? What is it feeding into and keeping alive? Inequality between partners? Yeah. Yeah. The, the man is always like the, the strong one. and the... the man's always the top and the woman's always the bottom. Mm. Facts. How about lack of communication? Yeah. Yeah. How about lack of consent? Yeah. There's zero consent. How about strict gender roles? Yes. yes. The man's masculine, the Woman is the woman is feminine. feminine. Why, I, I don't know why I did this. Feminine. Feminine. <laughs> How about stereotypes? Yes. Yes. Can you think of any examples from something you or someone you know has seen? No. Uh. <coughs> oh, no. The next time you come across sexually explicit media or free online porn, notice what's really going on. Ask yourself, is this a positive or negative interaction? Is this an example of a respectful or disrespectful relationship? Just pay attention and be aware. See you next time.